what's going on, guys? They're back with yet another class setup today, guys. We're going to be work er, using the Sterla P, as you guys know. Last week we ended up using the Pila and stuff like that. But this guy's is a free fire launcher. Um, this one's actually quite a bit harder than I thought I was going to be. Um, so the, obviously with this one, I mainly played. Like objective based game modes like I said in the last episode um, But you guys can play any game mode really uh, like TDM high quarters hard point Anything like that you guys could play So like I, last episode I said you could combine like the first six or so camos and stuff like that um, You have to get attacker rewards Defender obviously and then you have aerial kill streaks this one was a bit harder. Now for aerial, you just gotta keep practicing, aim ahead and stuff like that. Um, you gotta aim ahead of the UAVs quite a bit because those are probably the easiest to take down that are non-lethal. Um, now you guys can obviously destroy like um, VTOL warships, or not VTOL, but you guys, like the attack choppers, you can support helicopters. Um, the jets that come in, I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but you guys can destroy those. It's fairly easy, and there's actually no missiles. Or there's no, like on the jet, there is no uh, lock-on, so there's no, not going to be any flares that's going to send the rocket willy-nilly like, you know. Um, and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, the aerial kill streaks are a little bit harder, but they're easier if you play it. A game mode that's longer and a, a lot of people can get kill streaks. Ground-based vehicles and kill streaks. Um, you guys can destroy like riot shields. Uh, any ground kill streak, obviously. Uh, or, 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 yeah, any ground kill streak um, you can destroy and it'll count for it, obviously. Um, war zone you can play. You can play ground war. Anything like that you guys can play. Basically, it's basically going to be the same as the first episode, just a different weapon. Um, equipment vehicles now like I said riot shields work really well for this um, any vehicles that you destroy obviously will count for this as well you can combine a lot of these camos and that's how I got mine mainly done support now this is a little bit of a harder one so obviously you got the support chopper and stuff like that but I'll tell you, I'll tell you the easiest that I use so obviously you got the personal radar um, so like that you guys could use you guys could the shield turret's probably going to be the easiest one to destroy for ground and stuff like that. But um, counting UAVs will help. UAVs are kind of easy. To, your counter UAVs are going to be easy. UAVs are a little bit harder, but you just got to aim ahead of them. So it'll count. You guys could destroy... Um, the, v, or the VTOL jets count. The chopper gunner. Support helo. Support helo will help as well. Advanced UAV you could take out and stuff like that. So those are just some of the ones that you could destroy for error and stuff like that. Now as for um the kill streaks, kill streaks you could just destroy any of them. Obviously it's gonna be super super simple for those. Reptile, um amp perk, like I said if in the last episode, if you run this off the get-go, you guys get this done fairly, fairly easy. And stuff like that. Skulls is obviously just destroy vehicles. Ground based, obviously, is going to be super easy and all that stuff. But the perks, guys, that I'm running, it's the same as last episode Cold Blooded, Ghost, and Amp. Amp is the key one here, guys. Um, Amp is going to help you reload faster and stuff like that. Now, if you guys wanted to put in, or put on um, restock for if you wanted to get extra rockets and like that, if you to kill enemies, you guys could use restock and stuff like that. But I decided not to. And then you guys could run either Cold Blooded. A lot of people run EOD. I do just run an EOD. That's what one thing I just forget to say in the last episode. A lot of people run EOD to be, avoid to get killed by rocket launchers and stuff like that. Um, you guys could either run EOD or Scavenger or Double Time. Those are the three I've been probably ran up running, but I just ran the ones I usually run because I'm a hardcore player the way it is. Uh, double Time, it'd be easier to get to objectives. EOD obviously protects you from explosives. The Scavenger obviously replies your ammo. Restock, um, you can recharge your equipment so that, for instance, you could recharge your stun grenades if you're using stuns to kill enemies or anything like that. And then obviously you got your amped perk, which will help as well. 
But that, guys, is basically going to be it for this episode. There is not much to these that I've really done differently with all the other launchers. Like, obviously, the peel-up is fairly easy to use. Since it's free fire and lock-on, in my opinion, that was the easiest one. Well, besides the RPG, of course. But anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoy. Like I said, guys, we're going to be flying through these rocket launcher ones because they're going to be fairly short. There's not going to be any gameplay with them. It's just going to be the attachments. What game modes are played, or not the attachments, but what game modes are played, and the perks, basically. But anyway, guys, hope you guys did enjoy it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys wanted my primary weapons, you guys could go look in the LMG class setup because I have not changed it at all. But I hope you guys did enjoy it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great you guys to stay. Like, comment, subscribe, play troops, good soldiers. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.